London came to swing Jungle of the IP Reached the top and I've had to stop And that's what's bothering me Want to be man, mankind Stroll right into town and Be just like the other men I'm Tired of mugging around See, there you go. I started, I think I can, I think I can do it. And I just, I monkey around. That's the thing. I do monkey around. You know, <clears throat> that's just how it is. And that's just how I am. And just how you guys are. Because guess what? Guess what today is? Tuesday. That's why you're here. I know. I know. I know how you guys are. You're here because we're here. Because this is where we always are on Tuesday nights. And I'm glad, you know. Because tonight's for you guys. And for me. Because, you know, you make the grapes and stuff. Maybe you forget some more songs on the ukulele. You never know. Could be, you know, you know. But, uh, so tonight, tonight, tonight's, a, tonight's all about, it's about secrets. Secrets, you know. It's kind of like that song. That, uh, you can't understand the words because you, because they're secret. That's the thing. Um, <laughs> but seriously, no. Yes, no, maybe. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> I ask that every week. What are we doing? Well, we're here. You're here. I'm here. And we're going to make some drinks. And hopefully, I don't know if you guys went on. I did a spoiler. I, I posted the drinks that we're going to make in case anyone has the stuff to make them with. It's kind of some obscure ingredients. But but I'll tell you, it's because I wanted to showcase some obscure ingredients because we just happen to have some obscure ingredients. And that's always a good thing. Uh... But what do we use them for? Trade secret. Okay. Not that I'm not going to... I'm going to make it. That's just the name of the drink. The drink is actually called Trade Secret. I'm not really keeping anything from you guys. You're my friends. I tell you stuff. I'd let you know. I, I give you the, the low down, as it were. Not, not the down low. That's a whole other thing. Well, I'm going to put this over here. Um... So that's right. So our first drink tonight we're making is called a trade secret. We're going to get right to it and then we're going to ramble on about who knows what nonsense. But uh, let's see what happens. Did anybody, did any of you guys pre-get get ready or are you just drinking whatever you have to have in the, in the booze cabinet? Which is a funny thing as well. I'm, you know, <clears throat> I've been known to just drink whatever was in the booze cabinet or whatever was available or, you know, but I've been known to pretty much drink whatever. Um, but yeah, so if you have the stuff for tonight, we're making the trade secret, which is Kajwasa, nice dusty bottle of high proof booze, uh, some Ray and Nephew, this one is coming up, we, uh, so, uh, uh, what was that, it was a little while ago, um, Booze Couture CJ and I, Booze Couture CJ is currently, he's up down there in Australia with Booze Couture Danny and Booze Couture Tara, and they're on Booze Couture and up down there tomorrow, today, yesterday, tonight. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> but they're down there in the, the, on the Gold Coast doing what they do best, which is probably chugging down High Proof Jameson. But, uh, but nonetheless, and less is more, and we'll get right to it and drink more because I know that that's what they would, because that's what they would have wanted, man. I missed them. <clears throat> I only miss them when I throw things to the audience. Uh, so trade secret. So Kirschwasser. We're going to use Ray and Nephew White Overproof Rum. That's why. That's what I was talking about. That's why. So, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, or so, a couple weeks ago, I don't know, whatever it was. So we were down in the, in the, in the, uh, in the Los Angeles and uh, hanging, hanging around and decided to go to uh, Trader Sam's and do the Angelata Challenge, and we went through three of them. Mm -hmm. Supposed to have only two, as everybody says, but we did three. Um, but before that... We, uh, we busted into the Ray and Nephew white overproof rum, and uh, I'd have to say we were happy with the results. But I'm going to use that inside to showcase it because, because, you know, it's good stuff. It's down here in the... There it is. Yeah. Ray and Nephew white overproof rum. Yes, folks, the rum that will get you messed up. Um, it's good stuff. It tastes good. It's got... It's amazing because it's... Because uh, if you were here, I would like... I'd say, here, you smell this. And you'd say, hmm. Yeah, and you go, hey, it smells like bananas. And you'd say, yeah, it does smell like bananas, doesn't it? And you'd say, yeah, that's weird. Why does it smell like bananas? I'd say, I don't know, it just does. Um, but uh, so we're showcasing the Ray and Nephew tonight.
because two reasons. It smells like bananas, which has nothing to do with anything, uh, but it tastes good, and 63%. You know what that means? You know what that means for me and you? Huh? See? 126 proof. That's what that means. This, when you drink this, you will know where your 1995 went. It went to the, the uh, uh, Total Wine and Liquor store. But, uh, so, uh, so, <coughs> Kurt Rosser, Ray and Nephew, Luxardo Maraschino liqueur from the makers of Luxardo cherries, which is actually the other way around because they make it with the stuff, uh, and some lime juice. And we put the thing and do the shaking. And let's get, let's, let's give it a try, shall we? Uh, where's the? There it is. Kirschwasser. Yes. Good stuff there. We got the lime juice, we got the thing, and the stuff. Now, <clears throat> we're going to do this in order of appearance on the, the drink, on the, on the recipe. So this calls for a three-quarter ounce. Uh, so I'm going to actually, so I'm going to do something weird. And I don't know, probably, well, I don't know why. Um, I want to make this as the recipe says because this is a brand new one for me. And I, you know, sometimes I just go with whatever and I make, I put in extra booze. But then I was thinking today, I can always drink more. So why not, why not have the booze as God intended? So that we don't all end up burning in our own hell of uh, non boozing ah, So there we go. Three quarter ounce of Kirschwasser. Three quarter ounce Jamaican Ray and Nephew. It's so hard. See, it's difficult to, especially because this thing has a it has a thing to limit the pouring, because this is this is the stuff. The Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. Now this I've told you before. You guys know, some of you know, some of you may be tuning in for the first time. This is not the juice out of the, the jar of red cherries. It's not, that's not what it is. Um, this is the juice that made the cherries originally because this is maraschino liqueur and they would soak cherries in this and that's what became maraschino cherries, except then they just changed it to a whole different thing where they just put in lots of sugar and, and, the, and they bleach them and then sugar them and then dye them and it's a whole weird thing. But you can actually get the Luxardo cherries, which are black, but tasty. So, <clears throat> and some lemon juice. <sighs> Give it a shake. In our shaker from the Booze Teak. Go on down to Salt Lake City's own Booze Teak, where you can get everything with the booze. Go down there and see Ivy. Tell her I sent you. She'll throw you out. Tell her you don't actually know me. You were just trying to impress her, and she'll let you back in. You can buy cool stuff. Is that enough? Is that too much? I don't know. I'm excited about this one. I've <clears throat> I uh, I read uh, things about it, and I'm interested to know if those things were correct or not, because. Surprisingly pale for a drink that has no color. Get in there. Ooh, we can garnish it with a cherry. How about that? Maraschino. Not a, it's not a Luxardo, but that's okay. Let's see what happens, shall we? Should I? I don't know. I always, I'm, I'll tease you guys. I'm going to... Uh, uh, did I tell you about the time that I was in and I had? Uh, and you know what? No, this is. Hmm. Not bad. It's, um. I'm trying to decide. See, here's one of the things. So, so just. So, <laughs> I don't know how many cocktails I've had. Probably. I don't know, a thousand? I don't, I've had so many. I've had so many different cocktails. And one of the things is, there's only so many ingredients you can work with. And I find that sometimes that that drinks, you know, it's like, it's hard to go, oh, this one is so much different. It's, you know, it's good. And I'm sure it's gonna get me there because of the Ray and Nephew, but. Now I read, 
a couple of reviews. Um, one that said that it tastes like a Luden's cough drop. No, it does not. Um, I read another one that said uh, that it tasted like uh, cherry cough syrup. Once again, no, it doesn't. Um, it tastes like a it tastes like a sort of cherry daiquiri. Um, the Luxardo, being a, a cherry uh, uh, made of a mask of cherries, um, it has a, its own cherry thing going on. Obviously, the Kirschwasser is cherry brandy, so so there's definitely a cherry thing. But then we got the high proof rum and the lime juice, um, so it, got, it has kind of a daiquiri thing going on. But like I said, it's like a cherry daiquiri. Um, I I don't know. I don't know if this would make it a different drink, but I would probably I would probably say that uh, I know this is probably unhygienic. I'm gonna do it anyway. I would say that this thing could probably benefit from just a dash of sweetness. It's it's a little bit tart. It's like a Kind of a tart cherry thing, so I'm going to put in a quarter ounce of falernum, which is uh, going to give it a little bit of a little bit of uh, citrus, like citrus oil flavor with a little spice. Let's see what that does for it. Uh, and I just made a different drink. I don't know what the drink would be, but uh, let's, let's see what that does. But that's what you know. That's the thing. I always say, if you make a drink and you and you kind of like it. Mess with it till you like it. Because, you know, it's the bartenders do. That's what, that's what all the big guys, that's what, that's what uh, Trader Vic did. That's what Don the Beachcomber did. That's what all those guys did. They took something they liked and they messed with it until they liked it even more. Ah, uh, now that, okay. Now that, that's much better, much better. Um, the uh, so so a couple of these things so the the maraschino liqueur and the Kirschwasser are not particularly sweet they do have a cherry like I said a cherry thing going on um, but with the the three quarters of an ounce of lime juice is a pretty good amount of lime juice and it needed to be balanced and the falernum balanced it I think beautifully I think that uh, I should put that on I don't have a pen I'd write that on there and say you know change it I'm probably gonna put it in I'll put it on the cocktail database as uh, trade secret number two, and uh, you know you can try either one. Whoa! Is that thing glowing or is this, is it kicking in? Oh. Trippy. Um, that's a fine thing. That's good. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's a cocktail that I like. Here, I wrote a song about that. I like it. I like it. It's a cocktail that I like. I'm gonna drink it, cause I made it. And I don't want to waste any booze. Um. <clears throat> so there you go. The trade secret. I would say the trade secret is to add a little bit of flair. So there you go. Give it a try. Give it a try, booze -coteers. So, oh, so. So something. So on a sad note, so on a sad note, but uh, I do feel like I, I, uh, I owe a teeny bit of an apology uh, to some people, some of the booze cateers out there. Um, because those of you who have been watching since the beginning uh, know that uh, I was constantly ribbing do good distilleries. They uh, provided me with some fine booze and I made fine cocktails out of it. I had a good time and they said, hey, maybe we can work out some kind of a thing. And I said, yeah, send me booze. I'll make stuff out of it and say nice things about you. Um, and so, you know, so I did. So I made lots of different drinks. And I, uh, I said, well, if I said nice things, I said things. I said a lot of things about them. Um, and I never heard anything. And I thought that I was being slighted. But it turns out the company uh, is kind of out of business. So, um, so, <laughs> so I kept saying, you know, do good distilleries. Where our motto is, we just ignore Tiki King. Um, but it turns out they weren't ignoring me or anything at all. They were actually, um, they're in all sorts of uh, weirdness right now because the company is in limbo. But uh, if they ever come back, do good distilleries. They made a good product. They made some good stuff. Apparently, there's warehouses full of their fine booze, and hopefully, they'll release it to the general public, and we can all imbibe together, and we can sing a little song, and we can sit in those rafts that come out of airplanes when you crash, and pretend that we didn't actually crash, but we're just on an island where there's coconuts. 
with my prints out. But anyway, so there you go. So, so because being my sponsor, uh, it's not about just me berating you or saying weird things. Um, sometimes it's about promoting your products. And we currently have our sponsor, Ivy, down to Booze Teak. That's why we always say F Booze Teak. Go see Ivy. Um, and someone asked me, they said, how do I become a sponsor of the Tiki King, the Cocktails of Tiki King program? And it's very easy. Uh, you say, hey, uh, I have this cocktail-related thing. Could you mention it on your show? And I'll probably say, uh, sure. Because if you're if you're a booze cateer, I want to help you out because you booze cateers help me out all the time, every week at least, every week. You know, because that's the thing is, you know, I gotta eat. I need money just like everybody. I'm a hardworking Joe who's got to get drunk quick at the end of the day, and you can't do that without a few quarters to rub together. Like I think it's actually sixty-two quarters altogether. Um, but uh, so yeah, you know, so so I gotta work. I need I need things like uh, sponsorships and. And people to, to buy my stuff. You can go to my website. Speaking of that, um, last week uh, I talked about my the bracelets, skull and bead bracelets, and I said, hey, someone asked me where they can get them. You can go to my website. Go to the online store. They're right there. You can buy those. Every one of these you buy. Every bracelet you buy is a bottle of booze in the gullet of Tiki King, as they say. Um, but uh, yeah, go. I'm not asking for handouts. I'm saying, hey, go buy my stuff. Go. It supports the whole thing. And you buy tiki's bracelets, throw a tip in the tip jar. I come back every week and do this again, and, and you know, hopefully we're having a, having a good time at it. And maybe you'll learn something. Maybe we make a drink, and you go, "Hey, there's that drink," and then you make it, and you know, you go to a party, and you say, "Hey, I'll make this drink," and then and then you're the head of the party, and then pretty soon they're all carrying you in the thing, oh, and they're carrying you on your shoulders or in a chair. And then and the chair, like part of it, it, it turns out it's an antique, and someone yells at you, hey, don't lift that chair up. You know? But that's not my fault. I'm just saying. So yeah. So go to my go to the website, buy stuff. If you don't want to buy anything, there's another thing you can do. Go to YouTube and watch 40, 40, 40 hours of Cocktails as Tiki King. And make your friends watch it too. And tell their friends to tell their friends to watch it. And pretty soon we can have this whole thing where nobody ever goes back to work. They just sit around watching cocktails of Tiki King and drinking booze. But um, yeah, because you know that's so. Here's so yeah. So that and um, there's something I've been meaning to tell you guys, and uh, I don't know if this is the right time, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the booze talking, but I really love booze. So there you go. No, you guys, so this, so tonight's show, you know, sure, we're making drinks, and we're talking nonsense, but tonight's show is actually my, I wanted to say thanks, I want to say thanks, you guys, you know, because we come here every Tuesday, and I make jokes about it, and, and, but the truth is, I realized, I, I was, I was, uh, you know, laying awake in the middle of the night, uh, um, thinking about you guys, because I worry about you, I think, are they sober, what are we going to do, um, but uh, no, so I was, I was thinking, and I was like, six, so this is 69, 69 weeks, and there are, there are booze cateers who have been with us since the beginning. They've watched every show, and if they've missed it live, they've watched it on YouTube, and you know, that's no little thing. That really, that really, it, uh, it, it makes me feel good to know that there are people who, it, this is part of their week, that, that this, just, <laughs> This weird little show where I ramble on and make drinks is 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 you know it's part of their week and it makes me it's I feel like this mixture of uh, of, uh, of pride and uh, and and uh, joy and inebriation and you know it it's it just amazes me that I just decided I was like you know I was just gonna make some drinks in my kitchen and then it grew from there and there's we actually have we have uh, senators. I can't really like tell people that we have senators who watch. We have um, artists. We have people in the in the health and, and welfare industry. We have people who are doctors. We have mechanics. We have <laughs> musicians. We have people from every walk of life, and it's a weird thing because we're all here doing this thing on Tuesday nights, and you know it, it's a it's a it's kind of a big deal to me. And I want to say thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in every Tuesday, and and. And putting up with my nonsense 
so that it allows me to come back every week and give you more nonsense. And uh, I hope you relish it as much as I. And speaking of relish, we should make another drink. So I might garnish it with a hot dog. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use that glass again because I already took it. I don't know. Well, who knows what I've got. Um, so, we're going to make another cocktail tonight. Like I said, these are both up on the cocktail database where you can go and read about stuff, make booze, drinks. If you can't make booze, there are actually booze containers who make booze. That's another thing. All kinds of people. It's crazy. Um, so this one, so this one I actually looked for some specific ingredients because I had a hankering. A hanker for a hunk of booze, as it were. Um, I decided to think about some ingredients that I wanted to use and then make a cocktail using those ingredients just to see what happens. I'll bet I'm going to drink it. What do you guys I'm giving, there's, I'm giving 30 to 1 odds that I'm going to drink this next cocktail. We're starting the bets at $5. So what is it? What are we making? Well, the aptly named Bellevue cocktail. Because maybe I should be in Bellevue. With the nonsense and the whatnot. And what is this Bellevue cocktail, you may ask? You Blueskateers, always asking questions, saying, Tiki King, what are, you, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? What's with the hat? I couldn't understand the lyrics of that song. All the questions. You, you, whoa. Give us one side. Oh, so have, you, so have you guys, so here's the Blueskateer Challenge of the week. Blueskateer Challenge, Blueskateer Challenge. Blueskateer. Challenge. It's a boozketeer challenge. It's kind of scary, not too scary. It doesn't require a whole lot of things to do, but boozketeer challenge is this. Um, the boozketeer challenge is I want you guys to go out and scour, scour your local liquor stores and find the dustiest old bottle you can. Find that bottle that no one's looked at, that people are afraid to look at. Look at it, but don't let them know you're looking at it, because then they'll be afraid. But go out there and find that dusty bottle. And buy it. And make something out of it. And then send me an email. And tell me about it. And say, Cheeky King, holy moly. I made a drink out of this stuff. Out of the, the cream day something. You know. And it was so dusty, I couldn't read the label. It might have said, you know, it might have been cream de macaroni and cheese. I don't know. Um, but go... Are you breaking things up there? Yeah. Well, it's those. It's that. It's the booze seltzer. We discovered. We discovered booze seltzer, which is a kind of a. It's a, it's a mighty good thing. I would have to say. Um, it's seltzer that tastes like seltzer, but it's but it's like ten percent. So it's crazy. Um, I had something to say. I don't know what it was. Um, oh. Yeah, so go out and find a dusty bottle and make a drink using that dusty bottle ingredient and then send it. Send me an email and say, Tiki King, I made this drink. And if it's good, maybe we'll try it out here on the show. And we'll, if so, we'll give you the, we'll give you the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, sh the uh, stranger salute. <laughs> like that. Um, so our next cocktail this evening, for those of you still tuned in, is the Bellevue. And like I said, what is the Bell? What is it? What is it? Well, it's got stuff in it. Guess what? Ray and Nephew over per from. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this has been, so So here's the thing. I've been looking for the Navy Strength Rum. We've talked about that. Because I wanted to make my own angeladas. And that calls for uh, Smith and Cross Navy Strength. And Navy Strength is one, between 110 and 114, I believe. Um, and actually, I believe it just has to be over 100. But uh, 126. So, you know, no laughing or handball for that matter. So, mm -hmm. this calls for, what the heck? There we go. There we go. Now it's a foreign. Uh, calls for one and a half ounces. <clears throat> Whoa, where did that come from? I know it. Never mind. 
one and a half ounces of the Ray and Nephew. Now this is the, this is we're going high octane, so you mind your p's and q's here, buddy boy. A uh, quarter ounce of lime juice. You know I just happened to have some. I thought ahead. Two ounces of pineapple juice. I know I have some down here. I had a I had an open can of pineapple juice that's been sitting down here for a couple of weeks. Hopefully it's uh, fermented into something delicious. me when it's been enough coconut cream because only a navy man knows when it's enough i'm not a navy man so it's a hard part about measuring a goo i'm gonna have to give that the old swizzle scrape i'll use a straw though this is a patented maneuver that was taught to me by uh Trader Vic himself. He said, if you can't get the stuff out, then use a, a tool. There you go. That's now unsanitary. Let's give that a shake, shall we? Now, one thing <clears throat> I should probably tell you this recipe calls for something that's sort of odd. Is, says to strain into a glass and then top up with ice cubes, which is not something you normally see. I'm telling you, it's, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong. See, usually they say strain into, you know, a glass half filled with ice. But who am I? Who am I? Pretty sure tea can. But that's, that could be uh, debated in the court of law. Doesn't say. Just says top up. So this is one of those things that could get you in trouble. Like if you're if you have OCD, it's like to the top, top, or like until it's comfortable. I don't know. How about this? Garnish. Bing. Things and stuff. Okay. See what happens. It sure is frothy looking and creamy looking. Did I tell you guys about the Ooh, mm. <laughs> that's trouble in the glass right there. <clears throat> that, that's good. That's, that's good. I like it. This is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of painkiller-ish. Only no nutmeg and no orange, because uh, painkiller use pineapple orange. This is just pineapple. So I'm just gonna keep talking and bring it closer and closer to the glass. Ooh, dramatic effect. It's a lot like a painkiller. Mm. I could cause trouble after that. I could I could drink that and then uh, and do crimes. So there you go. Two fine drinks, one finer than the other. Um, but that's okay because we find up the one that was less fine, which makes two fines, which is three divided by six, which is 0.5. But you add in because there's there's a 0.5 adjustment, one a piece, so that's two equal footing. How about that, man? Um, <laughs> I don't think that made any sense. At all. It's okay. It's okay, folks. It's okay. Just remember. Did I call for? I already called for drinks, didn't I? Yeah, I said like, the dusty bottle challenge. But I understand not everybody can do the dusty. Some people have allergies. They might go in there and be like, "I want the 
you know, they make they, that's nobody likes that, especially the guys behind the counter because then they think you're dying, or you're a zombie who's just come in looking for like wild turkey and all sorts of mayhem, could, mayhem, mayhem, all sorts of mayhem could ensue if directed by a physician. Um, but uh, but yeah, so if you can't do the dusty bottle challenge, if you can't, if you don't feel up to it, if you don't, you know, if for some reason you're like you know, Tiki, I'd like to do the Dusty Bottle Challenge, uh, but I'm not gonna. Um, here's another one, which is just send us send us your favorite drink recipe. Send it in. Send it to Tiki King at TikiKing.com. That's T-I-K-I-K-I-N-G with the A with the circle. T-I-K-I-K-I-N-G dot com, which stands for commercial, I believe. That's a whole other thing. They should do dot booze for shows like mine. It would be Tiki King at Tiki King dot booze. Hmm. Yeah. So send us your favorite recipe recipes, and um, and if we uh, if we haven't made them, we might make them on the show. And if we do, you get a shout out, and hopefully it'll be a good one, not like when the drinks are bad and some and you have to say, oh no, don't drink it. <clears throat> so yeah. So send me. We're not doing. We, I think we talked about this before. I, I'm not going to do the weird shots that you can hardly drink. Because it's Cheetos soaked in vodka, and that's a real thing. And don't don't do it. I like Cheetos. And I like vodka. And I would actually, I probably would drink. I'd probably drink that if someone handed it to me. I wouldn't want to, but I probably would, because that's just how it is. Sometimes. Yeah. So call for drinks. No, email drinks. I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm looking at my call for drinks. Call for stuff. Tell them about the thing. You know, I make notes, <clears throat> and then I start drinking. I don't know what any of it means anymore. So <clears throat> no, so call. So yeah, so call. I'm calling out for you to send us your favorite drink recipe and send us your favorite location. We're still, we're still, you know, we might join you. There's been people who said, "Hey, would you come here?" And we say, "Yeah, you know." Um. So and you know what you get if you if you if you yeah, if you send us a location and we come out there and hang out with you and drink drinks, and uh, we're like drink, we try drinks that are good and bad, and we tell stories that are good and bad, and we, you know, truth and lies, and the whole thing is you get a Bousquetier pin out of it at least. The worst thing that's going to happen is you'll spend an evening in a bar with us and you get a Bousquetier pin, and that's worth that's worth up to like a dollar in some places. But uh, yeah, so send us send us your locations, send us your address. And a picture of your liquor cabinet, and we may seriously consider that as well. We're not. We're not. I'm not proud. We can't say we're not. I'm not proud. I'll do it. So send us a picture of your liquor cabinet and your couch, and we'll consider it. But in the meantime, go to the websites. Go to tkeen.com/booze, which is your portal for all things booze kateri. Uh, go to tkeen. What? Should I stop? You said shit. Stop talking. Mm -hmm. No. Just, 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 did the show end like ten minutes ago? I just, you know, everyone left. You can leave now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Um, go to. T <laughs> Here, what's wrong about that? Hey, Tiki King. Nobody likes your show. They all left an hour ago. Um. I was somewhere. Yes, tell us where. Tell us where to go. Send in an email. Um, send us your hopes and dreams, and uh, we'll dash them. If at all possible. If we can't dash them, we'll just walk. Mostly. <laughs> I, I'm the only one abused in this whole situation. I know. <laughs> I'm not supposed to break character. <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. Send us your locations and we may go there and do things. Um, and go to the websites, tikiking.com. I already said that one, but I'm repeating it. For the sake of posterity. Wait, po pros poster posterity or pros posterity? Posterity, isn't it? What's the one where it's for a long time? 
One's for a long time and one's your butt, I think. I, I want to make sure it's the right one. Um, <laughs> go to the website. Go to digking.com. Go to digking.info. Go to digking.com slash booze. Go to all of them. Do the things. Go buy stuff. Go look at stuff. Have a great time. That's because that's that's why. Well, I do it to amuse myself, but if it helps you guys out, all the merrier. Because you're the Boosketeers, and, <clears throat> and that's something you don't want to put on your resume. Maybe I don't know. Actually, we did have one who was very excited about how they explained to their coworkers how they had acquired a Boosketeers bin, and I thought, <laughs> like at a meeting, I hope. Do you have today's quarter release? No, but I have my Booskateers bin. Holy, where'd you get that? You know, I could just see it. Senator, you have the floor. Well, then perhaps we should make some drinks. I don't know, you Booskateers. I, it's a wonderful thing. Did I forget anything? Most, no, I forgot most of the things. You forgot that you're still talking. I'm still talking. Okay. Well, then, you know what? I believe I've taken up enough of your time for Tuesday, for this Tuesday. And this was episode 69 of Cocktails with Tiki King. <clears throat> and all I can tell you is that I'll probably do it again next week, and that will be number 70. We'll keep going from there. Um, so there you go, Booskateers. Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks for listening to me, and thanks for being out there, and thanks for drinking the drinks, and thanks for doing good deeds, and thinking good things, and doing good stuff, and saying nice things about your friends, and saying even worse things about your enemies, which are, that doesn't make sense. But there you go. Good night, and good drinking, Musketeers.